Hello and welcome to another video demonstration. In this example I want to show you how to set up GNS free so your devices can access the internet. We'll make sure our router has internet access and also set up uh, Windows XP or VirtualBox to also have internet access. Let's begin. So I'm using Windows 7 on as my main operating system. Now then, um, you need to install a loopback interface. Now I, I did a quick Google search and here's some step-by-step -steps, um, steps to install uh, the loopback interface. Uh, once that is done, then we need to tie that loopback interface to your main, um, uh, main network connection and we'll bridge them together. This is how that bit is done. So these are my network adapters, local area connection, and loopback, so I'm pressing control, highlighting them, right click, and then bridge connections. And then down here, I have a new network adapter. Okay, so then if we go back to our GNS3, I already have a router here, I'm going to start that, and I'll console into it. Okay, so that is loading away. Um, drag out an Ethernet switch here, and also drag out one of these clouds, and it's okay. So, well, once you've got everything set up how you want it, um, every now and then GNS3 release a, a new software update. My recommendation is that once you've got it all set up exactly how you want it, don't update the software unless you've got a very good reason. Um, I've I've got things working perfectly how I wanted them. Then I've updated the software, and uh, and then it just breaks things, and then I have to start again, and it does take time uh, setting all this up. So uh, so yeah, once you've got it all working how you want it, only update if there's a if there's a good reason. Okay, so this is our cloud. This is going to represent the internet. So I'm just going to right click this and click on configure. This is my cloud. I need to set my loopback interface here. Click add, apply, okay. And then let's get all this connected together when it's ready. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and connect it all together. The reason why I put the switch in is because they, well, you can add more stuff to it without having to worry about uh, this this connection here. Um, I've tried putting R1 directly into the cloud and it doesn't like it, so that's why we've got a switch here. So let's have a look at R1. Let's make that bigger. Right then, so yeah, this is just a blank router. If we go into config T, go under our interface. I'm gonna I'm gonna set this interface up to get a DHCP address automatically. So if this all works, uh, my home router will give this uh, router in GNS3 a IP address. Let's do a no shot there. Let's just give that a second. Come on, let's do this thing. And there we have it. We've been given the 192.168.0.13 address. So now um, I should be able to ping my home router. And yes, I can. Now then, we need to set a default route on this because it needs to know how to get off its local subnet. And we are going to point this to our router. If I exit out of that, and if I do a ping 8.8.8.8, .8 which is Google's DNS, or one of them, Yes, we have internet connectivity. Our pings 
uh, or a success. So um, let's try let's try something else. I'm gonna I'm gonna enable IP domain domain lookup, and then I want to do an IP name server of 8.8.8.8 if I exit out of that and if I do a ping www.bbc.co.uk and that also works so our router here has internet connectivity next thing I want to do is drag out another switch connect that up to here now then, in the new GNS3, you do have this, uh, where is it, this host um, icon here. Um, I can never get this to work properly. Um, so I think the idea behind this host um, feature is to tie it to your virtual box. But I, I can never get that work properly. So I'm going to drag out another cloud here. And I'm going to change the icon to represent a virtual box. Okay. This is my virtual box. As you can see, I got a couple of things, well, three things here. Um, so this is to do with switching, which I may do another video about in the future. Windows XP and Kali. Um, we're going to use Windows XP in this example. So right click. Well, once you've got, yeah, obviously you need to install Windows XP into a virtual box. Um, we need to make sure our network adapters are set up correctly. So I'm using the host only adapter, and this is connected to an, a network adapter called Virtual Box Ethernet Adapter 2 which is, uh, I think I renamed it, oh, it's this one here. So I renamed it to Windows here, and you see there's a 2 for that. So that is all connected up as it should be. I'm going to start this. And I'll tell you what, let's do a couple of things in, on the router. Let us go under this interface. What's it doing? Is it doing something? Uh, okay, so it's booting up. Let's give the, um, a LAN address. Um, right. Let's set up DHCP. Why not? Windows XP loading. There we go. Let's minimize that. Um, IP DHCP pool. Let's pull this LAN. Our network is 10.1.1.0. 255.255.0. Our router. Uh, router. DNS is going to be 192.168.0. We'll use 8.8.8.8. Um, what else do we need? Do you need a default router? That's what I wanted. 10.1.1.1. Let's exit out of that. Let's just do a do show run. Let's make sure it's all okay. That looks fine. Okay, so let's go back to our GNS3, which is here. Configure. So this is loopback. So this is the Windows 
adapter I'm looking for. Where is it? There we go. Add that. Apply. Let's connect that up. Let's go to our Windows XP. Let's close that. Let's close that. Let's go in here. All right, so we'll just wait on that to get an IP address. Oh, looks like it's worked. Let's see. Right, so it's given us uh, uh, 10.1.1.10, which will be fine. 10.1.1.1. Yep, so we're getting a ping response. So that's to the router in GNS3. And I ping that. So that is my home router. But can I ping the internet? No. And there's a very good reason for that because my home router doesn't know how to get to this um, this subnet the 10.1.1.0 um, to get around that we can just configure that let's um, we'll pat overload let's do that first of all we need to identify the inside and outside uh, NAT interfaces so NAT IP NAT outside IP NAT inside let's create a access list uh, standard access list we'll call this NAT we need to identify our subnet And now we need to do the NAT. IP NAT. IP NAT inside source list NAT interface FA that overload. Let's go back over here. And there we have it. We have full internet connectivity from this virtual box here, this Windows XP machine, going through this router in GNS3, going to my home router and out to the internet. And I think that is about it. Thank you for watching.